uh, just the stuff that was set up around the rink. Uh, I think, you know, a couple of guys talked about that I think was, was kind of accurate, was talked about a little bit of the, the outdoor atmosphere uh, with kind of stuff, uh, outdoor, uh, outdoor games and, um, you know, how there's a lot of kind of stuff set up in terms of uh, the stage and the screens and, and what's going on. Um, obviously, uh, just visually and I think getting kind of your depth perception with all that and stuff you're kind of used to and, um, you know, things you're used to hearing and that you're not. So, um, but overall, uh, you know, I know, I think we feel there's a lot that's been put into this. Uh, so just fortunate to be back out there competing, which was just a, a whole lot of fun and a lot of energy, I thought, within our group uh, all day long, uh, preparation-wise throughout the game on the bench and, uh, you know, good to build from here. And obviously uh, uh, with only one uh, one prep game uh, was huge uh, uh, to make the most of it. I mean, I think that a break like that, um, I mean, players had a chance just to, do what they needed to, you know, for their body. I don't think I was any different. And uh, I think you try to prepare over the course of, um, you know, the last two months or so. And I think, you know, in a preseason game like this, you don't put too much weight into it. You just try to go out there and work hard and, you know, just get a sense of the timing again. So I think we all felt okay. And I mean, I'm sure we all feel like there's lots of room to go before we start. So I think I'm in the same boat as everyone else. We're just trying to get ready for Columbus. And um, I mean, it's nice to be back out there after a long break, for sure. I think we all feel that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good to see uh, see live game action. We've been we've been trying to replicate that uh, during camp and having those inner squad games uh, to try to ramp things up. But I think it's uh, it's good to get a real game in and and uh, try to see a different team. That I think uh, the intensity was a little bit higher probably than than it was in some of those games, and guys are a little bit more comfortable hitting hitting the, the opponent, uh, knowing that it's not your own teammate. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's good reps. I think there was a, a lot of penalties on both sides out there, so we got um, got a lot of practice in. Obviously, Fred was outstanding, um, keeping us in it there. But I thought that we did a pretty good job. The ice was sloppy; it was hard to make plays. But I thought for the most part, we kept them to the outside. Didn't didn't give them any chances. Yeah, it means a lot, and I think that's a good observation. I think he did really skate very well today. I think. Yeah, there's a couple of times the puck kind of bobbled on him and got away from him and things like that. But uh, Mo's at his best when he's he's flying up the rink and he's joining the rush and he's playing with authority and uh, talking to him. He's 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 feeling as good as he's felt uh, from a health standpoint. And and he looked at today with how he's how he skated. He got rewarded, you know, with the goal, uh, and that's great to see. And I think you know if you're looking at what you would want to come out of this game for someone like Mo, it's it's the confidence to be up, up and skating and, and kind of pushing the pace with the way that he moves and joins the rush. And then also to have, you know, have the reward of the goals a really positive thing for him and us. Next question, Terry Caution, Toronto Sun. Sheldon, can we assume then that uh, Nick is going to be in that spot uh, on that line on Sunday night or decisions still have to be in that regard as far as him and Gochi and Engel go? We're going to continue to just digest all of this here over the next uh, few days. We'll make that decision. I wouldn't make any assumptions on on Nick or some of the other uh, positions on our on our on our lineup because we just haven't made the decisions ourselves. So um, uh, we're going to talk about it, and obviously, by the time Sunday comes around, we'll we'll be we'll be clear and ready to go. We'll take one last question, Luke Fox, Sportsnet. Hi, Sheldon. How do you weigh the, uh, the success of your penalty killing unit tonight versus the fact you, you probably had to use it more than you may have planned to? I, I liked a lot about it. Again, you know, with the penalty kill is something you got to really watch back on video closely to, to see a lot of the detail, the things that are going on. But I like the pressure that we had. I thought we had a lot of good clears and exits. We didn't spend a great deal of time in our end, which is good. Uh, we scored a couple of shorthanded goals. So obviously that's very positive. You know, we gave up the one goal that happens just as we're coming out of the box. Um, but I thought we had some terrific efforts from Kerfoot, Kappen in particular. I thought we're really, really good today. Uh, we're looking to get Kerf more involved in our penalty kill and, and it's been very positive all through camp. And, and today was, was really good. Uh, and I thought, you know, uh, those two guys have carried on to five on five play as well. It's uh, I think as good as we've seen Kerf play. Um, and that's a really healthy sign for our team. Obviously, if we can get he and Cappy going like they were, the way they were today, yeah, that makes us a tough team to handle. And that's really good for us.